It's Mary from Doodle Crate. In this video, we'll be making our own wall mounts with a technique called Sumi ink wash painting. This crate includes a sheet of magic paper, a bamboo brush, a pad of practice paper, a jar of Sumi ink, an inkwell, a sponge, some rice paper, a mailing tube, a red stamp pad, three foam squares, a wooden block, two bamboo dowels, string, some glue dots, and a piece of red mounting paper. You'll also need a cup of water, paper to protect your work surface, pen or pencil, and some clear tape. Sumi ink wash is a form of painting popular in East Asia. Using only black ink, Sumi artists capture the spirit of their subject in clean lines on thin, absorbent rice paper. Make sure to plan ahead by wearing clothes that you can get dirty and placing papers down to protect your work surface. Let's begin by practicing with our magic paper first. It only needs water to create brush strokes, and when it dries, you can reuse it and make new paintings. Make sure to not use any ink on your magic paper. It only needs water. Let's practice by painting a panda. Feel free to use your practice pad until you feel confident to use your rice paper. First, let's paint the legs. Paint a big bean shape near the bottom of your paper, and then a smaller circle next to that. Paint another set for the arms. For the face, paint four circles to make up the different parts of its face, like the nose, ears, and eye. Lastly, connect the circles with a skinny line to create the shape of the panda. Of course, your panda needs to eat. Let's make its bamboo. Use thick lines to create your bamboo stalk and finish it off with thinner lines for the leaves. Chops are stamps that Sumi artists use to sign their work. Your work isn't complete until it's been stamped with one of your own. So let's make one. Using a pen or pencil, lightly sketch your design onto one of the foam squares. Stamps produce a mirror image of what you carve, so make sure to create your image backwards. Press more firmly to make an indent in the foam. Attach it using a glue dot to your wooden block. Press your chop firmly and evenly into the red stamp and test your stamp on a piece of scrap paper. If it looks good, repeat this process onto your final painting. Once you're a Sumi master, you can paint a masterpiece on your rice paper and mount it. Flip your finished painting over and attach glue dots to each of the corners. Flip your painting back over and firmly mount it onto the red paper. On one side of your wall mount, roll the dowel around the paper and secure it with some glue dots. Repeat this process on the other side. You can add some clear tape to reinforce your wall mount. The last step is to tie the string on each end of the top dowel. Your painting is now ready to hang. Get inspired. What else can you create? I'd love to see your designs, so share with us on Facebook or Instagram using hashtag doodlecrate and hashtag doodleinkwash. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.